Good evening. Good evening and welcome to today's video. Welcome to a special edition of the vlog. It's the Halloween special. <laughs> Today we're heading over to Rulo Classic to see what's going on there. Okay. <laughs> Halloween special. I don't think I don't think Rulo Classic's very scary. Yeah, I hope it's not. Alright Kevin. Yeah, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Throat's a bit, bit iffy, but uh, I'm doing my best. Rulo Classic Villiers Stand, what have you got here? We've got the uh, Zero SLR, which is the latest bike in our in our range. So it's a super lightweight disc road bike with full integrated cables. I've ridden this one. Yes, it's you have. really nice. Yes. I mean, it's super lightweight, but you can see it's got a fully integrated cable. It's one of, I think it's probably one of the only really lightweight road bikes, disc road bikes on the market with, with no cable showing whatsoever. And behind it, of course, is the, uh, the Cento DHE and in the Romato finish, which goes right to the heart of Villiers history. The Romato finish is, is very much a signature Villiers feature, goes back to the, well, from the 1940s right through to the 1980s. You can see a real steel bike behind it. So this is, this is a, a real Giello Romato. So Giello Romato means copper jewel. And this was the top of the range Villiers when they're back in the age of steel when all the best race bikes are made of steel. It's a replica, but it's actually, it may as well be the real thing. You can see it's made of the same stuff. It's Columbus tubing, handmade in Italy. And you, if you take a look at the detail on this in front, it's these lugs, chrome lugs, all of the inlaid Villiers detail on them down there. It's pretty much exactly like the bikes used to be back in the day. And I guess the other really big news. This is what I want to see. It's this one over here. This is the Cento DHE hybrid which is an e-bike you see it's a fully integrated e-bike so no cable showing it's got most of the aerodynamic features of the Cento uh, DHE and it, you can see it, it's made to look and feel and ride as closely as possible to a, to a conventional road bike. Looking at it, you really it just looks like a normal road bike, doesn't it? It, it does. We're really, really, really pleased with this because we got a special award for innovation at Eurobike where it was launched, which is a second award for innovation we've had. The other one was for the Cento DHE NDR with the suspension of that. So we're really pleased about that because we're you know, a relatively small company, so to, to keep getting these awards is it means a lot to us. And these days as well, because if you've got disc brakes, larger cassettes generally on the back, you can barely see you know, in profile that it's an e-bike at how much does this weigh? Uh, this one weighs about ten and a half kilos, which is super light as well. When the original Cento Uno hybrid came out, it was the lightest e-bike on the market. Um, so this is well up there still. But it's a, it's a, it's an aerodynamic frame, takes full advantage of that. A little bit lighter, a little bit stiffer. And the lightness, it, it, it all pays off because you can say, well, you know, what does that matter in, um, if you're riding an e-bike? Well, if it's more aerodynamic and it's lighter, it means the battery's going to last longer, which of course is always a you know, really crucial factor on, a, on an e-bike. That was going to be my next question. How long does the battery last if well, you're out on a long ride? How long? How how long? What, what power settings do you put it on? <laughs> well, there are three power settings. It's really difficult to define battery life because it depends on so many factors like the terrain you're riding on, what kind of ride you are, how much effort you're putting in, um, how much elevation you're, you're doing and everything and, and if the wind's in the wrong direction all these things so we kind of define it in in a couple of ways but we say that normally again it's hugely dependent on, on all those other factors and rider weight and everything but we say that it'll do between plus 1,000 and 2,000 vertical meters of climbing and a thousand vertical meters equates uh, roughly to 100 miles on the flat but with all those caveats that I previously said so you can go for a pretty decent ride on it a thousand meters of climbing you know, in, you know, vertical elevation is, is not a small ride, even in the Alps. And you can, if you can get 100 kilometers out, again, that's, that's a decent ride. You've got to appreciate that these things, it's the e-bike motion system, it is, it's a power assist system. It's not a motorbike, you've still got to ride. All it does, it means you can stay out longer, you can ride a bit faster with your friends or whatever. That's it, two riders of different abilities can, yeah, can, can ride together, that's what's exciting. And you can attack, right? or if you're on your own, you can attack more challenging terrain. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's really, on the continent and other parts of the world, these have really taken off and uh, we've, we've sold lots and lots of them and we feel it's, it's a really fast growing sector of the market in the UK as well. <laughs> Haven't got mine open yet. Ooh. Stephen Nibs just gave this to us. Is that from Nibs? Yeah. Nibs here. It's so good. Where is the Nibs? Inside. That's amazing. Can I touch your prickly bits? It's no use down here, mate. No sunlight. Go oh, outside. It's eat really it. If you get really hungry, you can eat it. It's a competition. You have to decide which one you like better, and you can win one. You can also get some of it. Put it in the comments, guys. Which one's better? Can my viewers enter? No. <laughs> oh. You gotta be right here, right now. 
Jamie! Wee Willie Jamie! Wee Willie Jamie! I've got a short stem on my back. Wee Willie Jamie! I love cycling. So I'm just here with Julian from Madison and he's got the new Shimano GRX group set which is the group set that's on my new bike from Villier as well so I don't know anything about it what's it all about a gravel group set right a gravel group set so basically gravel what we've tried to do is say that gravel it's all encompassing like open brackets closed brackets is it closer to a hardtail 29er is it closer to a road bike what you can do is mix and match on this one we tried to do with the bikes here today is have like a one by wide range setup kind of aggressive trainee fun doing skids wheelies in the woods and then on the other side of things you've got a sort of either road bike rider my own in terms of gravel uh 700c slightly thinner tires I'm all set up for doing like backcountry touring that type of thing not sure though if this is the right way of saying this but if you imagine if i'll take on an xt had babies <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the technology you see in this isn't stuff that you haven't seen before. You've seen clutch derailers on mountain bikes, this race you've seen obviously on road bikes now. But the concept is tuned for gravel. The clutch tension in the rear mech, for example, is a little bit lighter. So the clutch basically stops the chain from unshipping itself and it makes the drivetrain so much quieter as well. So if you can imagine if you're bumping down a set of stairs, for example, the chain's going to be slapping, it's going to be hitting against the stays, it's going to be really noisy. Uh, but what the clutch does is stiffens all that up and it basically stops you from losing the chain it makes the whole drive train so much quieter like the uh, certainty that you're not going to drop a chain when you're riding over bumpy ground which is super useful and it sounds amazing all you can hear is the gravel crunching underneath your tires i think that all adds to the sort of sensory aspects of riding you know gravel riding off road you know, it's, it's a bit more I'd say it's a bit more soulful than sort of just, you know, grinding miles of tarmac. Again, what we try to do with this group set is have something that doesn't feel a million miles away from a road group set. But then you might see like a gap in the trees and think, well, oh, I'm going to head down that trail, uh, do a few skids and a wheelie. And, you know, you've got the bike for that. One by you might feel it's a bit steppy uh, in between the gears. So you might want a two by it. But I don't think that one by is going to overtake two by. I, I really hope they don't lose that option of choice so they haven't sort of said two by is what gravel is or one by is what gravel is that might just be what's selling at the moment and it might be what people are choosing over the two by but you've got the option to choose between so right. try it out it's decide really for yourself right answer, but yeah, try yeah, it yeah out. no fair play yeah. the thing you'll find different with the uh, di2 that you've got as well is you've now got the uh, switch buttons on the inside here so you can program those in for shifting if you want or for when you're going over bumpy terrain cycling through the screens on your garmin it's just in a much more sort of neutral position now as well so it's much easier to just kind of rock your thumbs on the inside and cycle through the gears basically it's a fantastic group set for He's nicked the garment! Baz and Dave! We're gonna go to Baz and Dave, you can come! Yes. Chaz is gonna come as well! Chaz, Chaz and Dave. Dave! My dad is called Dave. Um. Oh, I love you. Come I love on, you. bye! You'll be coming in Oh!